In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a new domain to your Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Now, what you need to be is, of course, signed into your Admin Center on Microsoft. That is admin.microsoft.com. And once you're signed in, you need to find the Settings tab down the left-hand side and expand that open. And then you want to click on where it says Domains. From here, you want to go to Add a new domain and type in the domain that you want to add. Once you've got that added, you need to go down and select use this domain. And the next step is you're going to need to verify your domain. You can do this by adding a text record to your DNS records. You can either add an MX record to the DNS records, or you can add a text file to the domain's website. In this example, I'm just going to add a text record to the domain's DNS records. So I'm going to click continue. From here, it's going to give us the records that we need to add. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and copy these one by one into the fields in my domain DNS records. Now, this is going to look completely different for everyone else, depending on who you're using as your domain provider. But as you can see, I'm using a domain on squarespace.com and I can go ahead in the DNS settings and add a new record. I know the type already is going to be a text record, so I'm just going to bounce back and forth between my admin center, taking the different values that I need to add. So let's go ahead and grab the host value. This is going to be the name value here, so it's going to be at. So I'm going to go back and add that in here. And then the next one that I need to add is the actual text value. So let's go ahead and grab that. This is going to be this one right here. And then go back, add my text value in. I'm just going to double check all of that and then I'm going to click save. Once this has been added and a custom record was saved, I'm going to head back to my admin center. And I'm going to go down and click verify. This is going to verify my domain. Now the next step is if you want to actually include your email, so have a custom email with this domain, you're going to need to add some more DNS records to your DNS settings. And these are gonna be all around the Exchange and Exchange Online Protection. And below are gonna be the three different records that you're going to have. These are gonna be different on your account, of course, so make sure you copy yours and not mine. And if you expand these open, you can once again, go ahead and copy these and add them to the DNS settings. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and click continue. It will then check your DNS records and if this is all successful you will get a message saying that your domain setup is complete. Hope this video helped and I will see you in the next one.